All right, hello. This video is to show you that it's possible to get the game ability system onto the game animation sample character. You go to your character and you go to class settings and you look for the parent class and you can change it from its pawn to the pawn base or whatever C++ character you create. This is the mover, so it uses a pawn. You can also do it on the sandbox CMC character. You see it has the ability system component. The CMC character, you just change it from character to character base or whatever you name your um, character class two in C++. You can see that it has the attributes and you can debug it. Um, you can see that it's draining stamina, so it's draining the attribute correctly. It's linking up to the cooldown. You can see on the UI, it's linking up to the cooldown. Uh, it's working with the cost, obviously. And so, yeah, I just wanted to show that. Um, and just, if you don't believe me, I guess I'll look, you know, those are game ability, the gameplay ability class. This is inside of the gameplay ability. Um, you know, that work. that's checking for if it's a mover or not, if it's... If it's a mover, it uses a bunch of code that I had to figure out, but if it's just the regular sandbox character, it just takes basically a few nodes. So that, that's the, the bottom there. This is all mover stuff. It has to use uh, UQ layered movers. Uh, I can go into detail in another video if you want to know how to actually get your uh, pawn that uses the character mover component to dash. But anyways, so yeah... It, it uses it's utilizing all the uh, all the things that you could get from the game game playability system you know the grants abilities it tries to use them it uses tags so yeah if you're gonna want to if you don't know how to get the game ability system working in general you're gonna want to check out Ali's channel he has a whole playlist on the game ability system and it starts off with getting your engine set up to use C++ and then it shows you how to set up Rider, which works. It's which is a a great IDE for uh, using uh, Unreal Engine. And and then you just continue on with the playlist because most of it just works right out of the box, uh, especially at least with the sandbox character CMC, the standard uh, sandbox character that we know from like five point four on going forward. Um, that can use the apply root motion constant force node and things like that. The the new the new uh, sandbox mover character, it's a little bit more difficult to use for like some of those root motion constant, uh, those root motion nodes that the game ability system has. Like I couldn't get those to work for that class. I had to use like uh, the layered move nodes like layered move linear velocity and q layered move and things like that but it does work you know if if you kind of go into that and i guess if you guys want me to make a video on <clears throat> how to get the mover pawn to talk with the game ability system i guess i can make a video on that but i just wanted to give a shout out to his channel because his channel is how i got my game ability system to work and then i was just like can I just change the class default, the parent class of this mover and CMC? Can, can I change those char characters to just my base uh, C++ class? And you can. You can because those, you know, if you create a pawn class in C++, that just inherits all the, all the information from the base, from the, the Unreal Engine pawn class. So, anyways... Uh yeah. So here I'll just I'll just show you how it works a little bit. Okay, so the game ability game animation sample project doesn't have C in it. So and I wasn't able to right click on the project to generate source files for the project it, because the error it told me was basically there's no C in the project, so we're not gonna be able to generate files for it. So I had to add a C class first. And then that was able to generate files for me in Writer. Also, I was not able to get the pawn class to work from Unreal Engine. Like, I wasn't able to create a pawn here. 
I had to create a character, a base character first, and then that generated the C++ files in Writer. And then in Writer, I was able to just right-click and create a Pong class in there. And then I used that Pong class for the parent class for the, the mover. So to do that, you go up to Tools and you choose New C++ Class. And like I said, you just want to create a character first. You know, so you select character, you hit next, and then you just name it whatever you like. I named it character base and then create class. And then in writer, here's the code. Like I said, you're going to want to watch Ollie's video, but if you really don't want to for whatever reason, you can kind of look at this video and just pause it. Um, you can right click to add directory for a folder, but this is where you right click create class all classes and then you want to you search for pawn this is what i had to do to create a pawn and then i just chose actor pawn a pawn um, and then i named it base pawn um so yeah here's the code and i'm not going to really go through it uh, you just want to make sure you have public in front of i i ability system uh, interface that uh, he, he puts that in the video eventually but if you're getting an error in front of that it's because the public's not there if you're following along in his video um, it takes him a minute to add the public in front of that but anyways look at this code you can pause it and add it writer basically will freaking do it for you as you type it it just like will autofill and you just hit tab for a lot of this um, it takes a second for you to actually start entering in stuff. But once you got a few things entered, it starts to actually be really intuitive of what you want to add. Uh, you're going to want to make sure you go into your gameplay um, .build.cs and you're going to want to make sure you add these tags right here the on, under the private one. The gameplay abilities, gameplay tags, gameplay tasks. He goes through all of this though. He will walk you through it. It's like a 30 minute video and it, man, it, it, it's cool. Like as I, I, what the Unreal Engine people say, it, this comes for, this ability system has so much stuff attached to it and it's free. And so there's no reason to create all this stuff yourself. And as someone that hates C++, I tell you, like I avoid it like it's the plague. It's really not that hard to do. You know, you just type in some stuff, you you copy some stuff from other people's videos, and it works, you know? And Writer makes it really easy. So just, you know, take the plunge. If, if you're afraid of C++, just look at his videos. It, it's like one or, it's like one to two videos that are 30 minutes long, and, and you'll get the game ability system working. So again, like I said, if you don't, if you don't want to go to his videos for whatever reason. Just pause it and enter in this code. Just follow along. Um, these these are the attributes. As you saw, I, th those were debugged. You're able to debug these attributes in the game playability game play animation system project. Gasp! Put put gas in gasp. It puts the it puts the gas in gasp. Anyways, um, I'm just trying to fill this code with uh, you know so it's not silenced as I walk over this code with you. Anyways, so you hit run. It builds hopefully for you. It builds for me, and yeah, that's basically what I wanted to show you. Um, Oh yeah, so yeah, you go into your your character, you go to class settings, and then where it has parent class, where it normally says pawn, you just change that to pawn base if you're working with the the sandbox mover. If you're working with the sandbox CMC, then you just change it from character to character base or whatever you want to change it. You name name that character to, and you can see right here the ability system components in there. Um, 
And again, I've already showed you this, but here are the, you can debug the attributes. Now, this mover character is a little finicky when you pull up this screen. Sometimes he will just stop moving. And so, I don't know. Uh, as you can see, it's working on the sandbox character too. You can you can debug the attributes. But yeah, I'll show you in a second here. For whatever reason, the mover character, when you go to debug it, sometimes he will just stop moving. Um, like this, he's running in place now. So I'm not sure exactly why that happens, but if that does happen, or if you don't want to deal with that, you can just use the ability system dot debug attributes, and then just type in ability attribute, yeah, and you can just debug it that way, and he will move. Yep, yeah, running in place, running in place. Um, you restart it. He's moving, and then you debug, and I don't know if that has something to do with when it works. But anyways, thanks for stopping by. You can put gas in gasp. Do it. Have a good one. Happy holidays. Take care.